I started recording. How's it going, everybody? Hope you're doing fine. I just felt like streaming uh, a commission. I know I don't usually do it, recording and everything. I would keep it personal. But I felt like, why not stream that today? Just to give me more content and also like I'm gonna do a, a character from the beginning to the end. So you will be able to see like my total process. I know uh, a lot of people like to see that. So before I do that, I need to get settled. Ah uh, shit, what did I s fuck? Okay, well, uh, be right back. I just need to open my file and I wanna, okay, there you go. Just need to open. I need to do the same character, so I just need to open like, and there you go. Okay, so I got my reference. Also have this reference. I'm blurred away the naughty bits. They were already blurry, but I'm, I'm not trusting YouTube and stuff anyway. So, might as well. Alright. So you want to be killed Karulified. Which basically means putting the character in a King Carol costume, which I adore to do. Though sometimes it's just kind of hard to just find right poses. Ra ra ra, Xo Grizz. I think I know who you are. Welcome to the stream. I'm watching your streaming class. That's okay, J Wolf. Let's hope you won't get caught. Yeah, I hate drawing like looking at left. I mean, looking at right. I do this character many times. Raygun is like a very good client, a very good person. I'm always glad every time he commissions me. And I got this wolf too. <laughs> Something I like. Yesterday I played with... I didn't play, I mean. I was talking during a stream with uh, the Ghastly Gengar. I'll try to link his channel when I will post this. Get easily distracted. I was just reacting to uh, his run as he was playing. A randomized Pokemon Coliseum playthrough. It's kind of hilarious, but I kind of hate it. <laughs> so it. I say a lot of weird, stupid shit. It was extremely funny, though. I say while I'm doing King Carol team commission, might as well just put some Smash Ultimate Donkey Kong music. Don't be afraid to talk to me about your day. Or about what I just posted, to be honest. Ask me any questions. Oh yeah, somehow the commission I did with Magnus in it uh, is like over 400 views now. It's kind of great, but at the same time I'm scared. Because, you know, like, popularity is like, uh, almost like a knife with, with two 
hedge. I don't know what to say really. It's like, yeah, cool, you're popular. And then people started to hate on stuff and you're like, well, I mean, it wasn't meant for you anyway, so. <laughs> but you know, I also like put a joke because I'm like, no, no, not a lot of people are watching my stuff on my YouTube. So I was like, I put a thumbnail and I like put an hashtag daddy on it just because I thought I was hilarious. But I'm sure I will get like this nine year old coming at me and be like, hey, I miss you. which I personally don't care. But I kind of do. I know, like, I might need to change the thumbnail. <laughs> Tell me, Grizz, how's your fabulous artist bar friends going? I don't have much to say or talk about except for like sharing some skills with you guys. I like hearing when people are telling me that they are learning by watching my stream, watching me draw. I'm like, this is awesome. I never thought I'd go this far, honestly. Maybe not the best pose to do. Reduce just a bit. And make it for the quality of it by adding more stuff. Hence, how do they work? We'll never know. I'm gonna lie, I feel like the Donkey Kong music is like the best. Like, yeah, Zelda Symphony and Mario music and blah blah blah, but like, there's something in DK's music that really makes you feel warm and comfortable and just so energetic. In my opinion, I still feel like Donkey Kong, Jungle Beat, uh, 
It's still my favorite game of Donkey Kong, I should say. They never did something like that ever again. Like, that was so revolutionary. Revolutionary back then. Yeah, the controller is a pair of bongo. And you need to clap your hand. Like, it's something I talked about is just when you look back at the GameCube era, they will never, like, they will never do games like that ever again. In essence, and even if they want to give them, like, a, a low poly style of. It's just. It won't happen. In the sense that the texture will still be beautiful. Like, we, we reach. A certain perfection in gaming that it's no longer impressive to just see like a couple polygons right it needs to be full fleshed HD kind of make me sad but in the same time this is we need to grow up with the time too you know? Get me, bro. Thank you, Bear. Grizz. Whatever you want me to call you. Usually, I just call everybody bears when they are bears. Or Burr. Burr is like, when, like the thing I love to call everybody. Beep, <laughs> Remakes are fun and everything, but it feels like even then I don't feel like like I know like uh, they remade the uh, Myers and Luigi Inside Buzzer Story. It's probably one of my favorite games, but I don't want to buy it because I know I won't finish it. But I'm pretty sure it's amazing. Well, I mean, no, nah, not really. I saw like uh, the update they did and the 3D version of it is like kind of like Dream Team. I couldn't finish Dream Team and didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. But that's only my opinion. You can quote me on everything. <laughs> Thank you. How are they going, little Siberian bear? That's not our fist works. Hey, going, I think you don't really know. You don't really really know. You don't know if you're well or not. If you're well, that's cool. If you're not, then why? <laughs> why aren't you happy, Mr. Cyberman there? Skip leg day.
This song is the only song I hate, so I'm just gonna skip it. This one I like it just at 25 meter. All right, so I'm just checking real quick my Twitter at the same time. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Get so many comments and DMs. That beautiful babe. Here we go. Yeah, I put a playlist uh, with Donkey Kong music from Smash and uh, YouTube on YouTube. I love video game music, not gonna lie. It brings you more feelings than. Just a random song they play on the radio. In a sense that you associate this music with like playful time you had when you were a kid or something. Like when they just like made you discover a new song on the radio, you're like, oh that's cool. Maybe you have heard this song like while doing something important and then that's why that song means a lot to you. But you know for a fact that when you were hearing a certain song in a video game, you were like, oh. It's bonus time kind of deal, you know? Yeah, it's great. I have a lot of respect for like video game compositor and music and game in general. I mean, I know I'm not really a big gamer, but I'm still inspired by so many video games. And I do so many story about them too. We Uh, it's time to ink. Okay, good so far. <laughs> okay, just kidding. I will usually take a seven pixel wide. Brush. I'm using click paint, so uh, this is what the pen. Yeah, the stylo, the pen, whatever. I forgot that mine is in French. Or... I'm honestly just like streaming because I wanted to make a video out of this like drawing. Just to share like a drawing to the beginning to the end. coming out with new teams uh, for commission once in a while like I try to do it like maybe every three months or something or when I have a 90 after a 90 or something like doing dressing drawing a character as like 
a kind of a cosplay like I did with the Bowser and it was such a big hit. Like I, I'm still surprised that King Carol is not such big of a hit <laughs> compared to Bowser. But I guess Bowser has been featured in so much more game than King Carol. When was the last game King Carol was featured? Except from Smash. Give me an RPG where you play as King Carol. I'll be down for that. Or like one of the Kremlins or something. I forgot I made myself some tea. Mm. I love those magic nuts. This is all the tea is called, by the way. It tastes like uh, cinnamon buns, really. Very tasty. This tea is kind of expensive because they uh, they go by weight, and since like it's mostly just nuts, this tea weights a lot. So like, well, it's very tasty. I'm gonna skip this one. <laughs> I know I'm gonna stay a minute full of this. I'm so happy that today is like such a beautiful day. I've been having like very shitty weather lately. But I mean shitty, I mean really shitty. <laughs> like in the minus uh, 20s Celsius for everybody that is using uh, the metric system. In Fahrenheit, I don't know. Every time I try to transform 
a minus Celsius into a Fahrenheit, they gave me a minus 0 0.4. And I don't think it's the exact number. Trust me, it's very freaking cold, okay? Have you ever been to a restaurant and then you go there, it changed and you were like, wait a minute, like it, it was my favorite restaurant and what happened? And then you just change owner and everything and we're like, well, it's kind of sad, it sucks. Then you go there and you're like, the food is not terrible, but like, I miss the old menu. <laughs> That happened to me recently. This sushi place. I was like, I mean, I can't wait to have like, the special restaurant sushi. Well, it doesn't exist anymore. I'm like, shit. <laughs> you're kind of bummed out, but at the same time, you're happy. And by my surprise, I didn't want it to take my tip. I was like, take it. And he's like, no, like, take it. No, take it. No. All right. You understand modesty, that I, sh I know, but like... But I, I like to tip people, you know? Mostly like if the service is like very good. I feel like you should just take it anyway, or just like... Even if the restaurant doesn't want it, you should take it and maybe give it to a charity or something. Or you know, like just use it to buy new equipment or something. I don't know. I mean, if I want to give you tip personally, it's because I appreciate what you did for me or something, you know? You should see, some people are actually pissed that you don't accept tip at certain places. Uh, when I was working at fast food, you know, like uh, I was sometime the cashier and Well People were just giving me tips anyway. I was like cool You kind of like they have like this kind of modesty of like we don't accept it. We didn't do much. We don't deserve it and blah blah blah, but it's like people wants to give and if we take away like a little pot to just like, yeah, drop your change there if you want to give me a tip or something, people get mad. At least in here, I don't know anywhere else, but like my experience in living in Quebec, Canada, uh, it's mostly how it goes here. <laughs> I hate when it does that. Fucking. The thing is, with Wacom, you don't know if, like, it's the update of the driver that actually fucking up your steez, or it's like the software that is fucking you up. And I hate that. 
Because once in a while, you know, I can move like that, but sometimes it won't do it. Like, what's the point? It's meant for me to work fast, and <laughs> you just don't want me to. from my chair <laughs> first time we ever done that one well I'm due for freaking new equipment I mean this chair is nice at all but it's not even though it's made by like a mattress company it doesn't give me like enough support for me to just stay on this chair drawing all day there's a, like a company in Montreal that specializes in chairs for like anything like a very good quality chair, not too expensive. Like, but I really want to buy a chair that will like just give me all the support I need. Have you ever like wanted to talk to an artist? Just, and it just doesn't go as planned and then we're just like well I guess I fucked up you know <laughs> I don't want to enter this subject I think I've been talking about it many times by now I mean no one's perfect I'm just a silly dude doing comics and I became popular somehow. And I'm like, oh cool, I'm popular, you're popular, we're gonna be friends. <laughs> nope. I feel them. Or sometimes you're just saying something like, just like, I like your stuff. And then you don't get any replies and you're like, oh, okay. And you think to yourself, was that worth it to just DM them that? Am I awkward? Then yes, it is. So I have to be a bit more like reserved. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> this looks great. So, okay, uh, we'll go with the yellow. Just select everything. I forgot that the picture is flipped. Good thing, good reminder to myself. Flip it back. Boop. There we go. Let me 
this kind of RNG. Whoopsie daisy. Right? Now I die for the second set of colors. Nope. I got a new message. Markiplier! He's streaming. Gonna take away all my viewers. God damn it. I'll just get it. People barely care about me. And it's okay this way, to be honest. Nonsense. <laughs> Is it the same? Yeah, this one's a bit darker. I'm just joking around. What a relaxing day. I'm just here appreciating, enjoying. It's fun.
Ugh. My eyes kind of itches. Together. I was about to say something, but I completely forgot at the same time. It must not be important then. Okay, I think I have all the colors I need for now. Fair enough, it's getting confusing. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Right now, I don't. I think you can hear me trying to freaking move my canvas. It doesn't do anything. So I just select a random color, then the hand will reappear. And this bug has been happening to me since I updated once, then I updated twice, seeing if like it's gonna fix the problem, but it doesn't. So I don't know if it's Wacom. I don't know if it's like the CL, CSP, I don't know, but it's aggravating. It's like, it's like a waste of time. It's not like a waste of time, it's like, it's a waste of time. You try to work a bit fast just to make sure that you, know, you don't waste your time. Like a couple seconds wasted, I know, but like a couple seconds become minutes, then minutes become hours, the hours become days. see every corner you go correct that and coloring everything boop 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 sometimes I forget that selecting is a thing that will just like color everything and then be like wait a minute I try once to just like select around my line and everything. I don't know if it's faster, but it does take the same amount of time in the end. Maybe old fashioned, you know, like I like to color directly with color, not directly by like selecting. the same amount of time okay well we tried something new today
won't do the nipple. But you already know about it. I think his eye are like... The brown... I'll go with this color. Alright. Boop! I'm in a good mood today. Leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, the only thing left to do is everything that is King Carol, so I think I'm gonna use this sketch. This happy bear right there. My friend Roka. It was one of the first person that was like me. When I said I was opening for like King Carol Gusplay thingy. Oh hello bear. Hello. It's an happy bear. Of course you are, oh, you're the guy. <laughs> Hello, Roka. Sorry, I didn't realize. I love drawing a character, let's be honest. Always such a fun time. It's such a joy time. I need to drink some tea. Mm. I'm gonna live long and happy. What is the crown next to your name? Twitch Prime. You're a Twitch Prime? Ooh. Your Majesty Burr. What does it give you, by the way? Like, I know it. I just don't know what it gives you. I guess ad free. It comes with Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. Yeah, Amazon and Twitch doing a partnership. I can subscribe to uh, people for like free 
or something I like though along those lines how many people are you allowed to uh, be subscribed to one free sub a month oh, okay so you can like decide if you want to uh, sub for one month for one person and then the next month you decide if you want to change or not come on okay there you go do, 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 do. i forgot something you have the gem no i don't care why do i pay for bit defender if it's gonna be like yo uh here's a thing you don't care about like no fucking pay for that fucking motherfucking shit I hate you. Stop bothering me as I'm streaming. Yeah, pretty much. And you have to manually renew it. Oh, okay, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's maybe a wave. For them to be like, oh cool, we can save a bit of money since it didn't like renew. So you can uh, never get like the badge. Well, I mean, I guess you can get the badge if you feel like it. Like uh, some accounts, like some Twitch, has, like the accounts and stuff. That, what am I saying about? I mean, badges for me anytime you are subscribed, so you just like. Okay, well. I'm still unsure if I want to open subscription, really. It count differently than paid sub, yeah. I heard that too, I think. Uh... Yeah, it's like maybe one or two bucks lower. This is what I heard. From a, a friend that do some streams. Shout out to Exterinama. He's an awesome dude. Draw a lot of commission. Even more than me. If Chibi stuff your sting, then you should probably go and seek him out. Color the inside of his map, man. I'm so lost. Somehow yesterday I watched a speed run, a speed run of like Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I completed the game like in 30 minutes. But I didn't know that like 
when you go there and uh, you didn't fight like any temple or something you uh you have to defeat every blight before you can go and defeat calamity ganon it's not really a spoiler by the way but whatever I thought you just fought that. Nah. Nope. I mean, technically speaking, you could just go and defeat Ganon the first thing you can do. If you feel like it. Or at the same time, it kind of take away the purpose of exploring and making yourself stronger, finding better equipment and everything. I mean, this is a, that, that was a speed run. Basically, the guy was naked and know what to do for every bus in a very fast, like time. You know, it's still it's amazing to see, but at the same time, I don't see myself practicing hours and hours how to speed run a game. I practiced one with Dark Souls One. I was able to speed run the first few bus, but after that, I was like, yeah, do I want to speed run the full game really? And this is all I drop. I was just like, no, not really interested. But it's cool for like streaming purposes, I guess. Seeing the guy practicing. I know there's more and more people that are practicing speedrun, not for the world record, but mostly for like the personal records, which is nice. I mean, really, like, in Breath of the Wild, one of my favorite thing to do was to actually go to see the Gar, and they were my favorite place. And I think it was my favorite temple, it's just, I love it. That's a dedication to a game that I just don't have. Exactly. Well, this commission is finished, and I started it in the recording. It took me a bit less than an hour to complete a commission like this. Wait, it's not even finished. I forgot to uh, color the inside of his mouth. What am I doing? Well, it took me an hour in the end. That's great. Really hope the hell that like, knowledge will be used for somebody. Like I said many times now, but like. I'd rather just like practice uh, drawing and make perfectioning my art, create more content than playing games. So my gaming is not, it's not like it used to. But at the same time, drawing gaming, drawing gaming is not really a life. <laughs> So I think uh, that's that's it for me. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna go and relax. It's like the third commission I'm finishing today. We got not Raygun, which is very cool. We got Happy Birthday here, and we got this Bowser here. Oh, this like fluffy face dragon. Very cool. I love them all. Well, that's it for me for now. Thank you for joining me in the streams. And I'm leaving. Oh yeah, I also my outro on YouTube. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoy it. If you want me to do more of these like little video thingy. Subscribe. Yeah, that's it. See you later, everybody. Bye.